back, everybody. Thanks for spending your evening here with us. Now, on Sunday, President Donald Trump announced a trade agreement in principle between the United States and Japan. It's supposed to keep exports of U.S. red meat and other agricultural commodities flowing into a very large and crucial market for U.S. farmers and ranchers. In our Montana Ag Network report, Russell Nemitz shares why Montana farmers and ranchers say they're pleased with this news. Last year, Japanese consumers purchased over $2 billion worth of U.S. beef, accounting for roughly one quarter of overall U.S. beef exports. And removing the massive 38.5% tariff, they say, on U.S. beef will level the playing field there, providing even more opportunities for U.S. cattlemen and women. Fred Wacker is president of the Montana Stock Growers Association and explains the importance of export markets like Japan. Let me tell you, these markets, these foreign markets take excess product from us. And it's absolutely critical that we have those markets and we keep making these deals because we need those deals in order to, uh, to get to maintain a good price for the uh, cattle raised here in the United States. The new agreement also helps protect U.S. wheat exports that represent about 50 percent of the sophisticated and demanding Japanese wheat market, with average annual sales of about 3 million metric tons that are currently worth about $700 million per year. Montana Grain Growers Association President Lyle Benjamin says they welcome the agreement in principle that will provide export market certainty in that crucial Japanese market for premium quality U.S. wheat like that grown in Montana. Getting this agreement in principle in place is, is going to be very important to Montana. We figure we lost about $150 million a year in grain sales just from Montana without having any sort of free trade agreement in place. So this will help heal up that uh, and it gives us some certainty as we go forward in the market. As for the timeline as to when the new trade agreement will be signed, both President Trump and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said they probably will be signing it around the United Nations General Assembly meeting in New York in September. In Billings, Russell Nimitz, MTN News. He says corn, dairy, and pork will also benefit from the new trade agreement in principle with Japan.